It's easy for us to say I love you to our dogs by giving them treats, belly rubs, cuddles, or kisses. But it is not even that hard to read your dog's signs saying, I love you too. In today's Monku dog video, we'll tell you seven signs that your dog uses to show affection to you. We would like to share that Monku Dog has come up with a pet app where you can keep track of your dog's vaccination, make dog friends, find pet services, and helps you become a more responsible dog parent. Link to download is given in the description box below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. So the very first sign is when they go crazy for you. Because dogs are pack animals and can't be separated from their beloved humans for a long period of time, so when you leave the house, your dog might start to feel anxious and worried until you return home. They start crying, jumping up and down, barking, wiggling its entire body, and kissing all over you. In short, go crazy as if you had been gone for at least a year. You may not realize it, but when they cry, dogs actually communicate their emotional state to you. So, seeing you finally come back makes your dog feel happy and safe. The next sign that follows is, I lick you. A doggy kiss is the true sign of affection. Dogs mostly lick their beloved human in the family to show their love and care. Because grooming the person or another dog they see as their leader is an intimate ritual of the strong bond they both share. Although long, sloppy dog tongues can be a little gross for you when your dog licks you, it is actually saying, I love you so much. Aww. As some dogs are great lickers, some like to lean on you. If your favorite person is lying next to you, who wouldn't like to cuddle up? Physical touch or closeness is as important to dogs as it is to us. When your dog comes up to you and puts its full body weight against your legs, it means it feels safe, secure, and totally comfortable. Sometimes when your dog will be feeling scared and anxious, it will lean against you. That's only because it sees you as its protector. Some dogs also show affection by resting their head on your knees, lay their head on your foot, or nuzzle their nose into the crook of your arm. Do not push your dog away when it is expressing love, because this is the best time to enjoy the moment of affection. Now how can you say no to belly rubs? Much like the lean, the rollover shows a high degree of trust and relaxation. When your dog flops over and wags its tail, it is telling you how much it likes and trusts you. Experts believe that dogs love petting and belly rubs in particular because the stroking of the hair is linked to social grooming. Although the belly area is the most vulnerable part, most dogs usually don't like getting touched as touching makes them nervous. But still, if your dog asks for belly rubs with his wagging tail, it clearly tells you how much it likes and trusts you. Now comes that puppy gaze and wagging tail. Just like humans gaze into the eyes of someone they love, the same goes for the dogs. Eye contact is an intimate act for many dogs, it's a display of trust and affection. If your dog maintains eye contact with you, it is showing a high degree of attachment. In fact, mutual staring releases the oxytocin hormone, which plays an important role in bonding and boosts feelings of love and trust between you and your dog. A wagging tail can have multiple meanings, but if you have a good relationship with your dog, you can bet that a full-bodied tail wag held at mid-level is saying, I'm so happy to see you. Now, sign number six is when they get you their toy. If your dog brings you its favorite toy, it doesn't always mean it wants to play. Dogs are very possessive about their toys, bones, and other chews, and they would normally protect them from others. So, if your dog proudly offers you its toy or bone and even pushes it forward encouraging you to take it, it means your dog trusts you, loves you unconditionally. And the last sign is sleeping with you or in your bedroom. Dog's ancestors have always done everything with their pack members. They have not only hunted together, but have also slept together at night for warmth and security. What's most important to note is that dogs are pretty vulnerable when they are asleep. If your dog sleeps in your bed, it means that your dog trusts you like no one else. So, it's completely okay to let your dog snooze next to you. 
Also, studies have proven that sleeping with a dog in one's bed or somewhere in the room can be comforting for some people and improve sleeping efficiency for others. From nose to tail, now you know what to look for to catch the signs your dog uses to convey how much it adores you. Well, that's it folks. If you have any queries or suggestions regarding this video, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And don't forget to download the Monku Dog app. Link is given below. Thank you so much for watching.